move over Dan Brown because scientists are getting closer to cracking the real Da Vinci Code. And by the real Da Vinci Code, we mean Leonardo Da Vinci's genetic code, his DNA. A new family tree pieced together by two Italian art historians has revealed that Da Vinci has 14 living male descendants. And that's really exciting to scientists because they think it could help them unravel the hidden mystery of where the Mona Lisa painter is buried. Leonardo da Vinci was pretty much the definition of a multi-talented guy, a renaissance man. He was an inventor, an anatomist, a scientist, an architect, as well as being one of the greatest painters of the Italian Renaissance. He was no slouch. And alongside being really talented, also came loads of peculiar personality quirks. He would fill his notebooks with these fanciful drawings of precursors to tanks and to flying machines and helicopters, as well as really, really detailed drawings of human anatomy. The Vitruvian Man is a really famous example of this. It's a human male with his arms and legs and a few other things splayed out and sketched in elaborate detail. And alongside capturing all of these details and these inventions and these drawings, he would make notes alongside, above and below them and in the margins, in mirrored writing. It would be writing that was back to front and written in his own shorthand so that none of his contemporaries could steal his ideas. Despite da Vinci being this really famous guy during his time, and that fame only having really grown in the centuries after that, it's actually really, really hard to reconstruct his family tree. And there's two big reasons for that. Firstly, he was born out of wedlock. So his dad was a fairly notable lawyer at the time, San Piero da Vinci, but his mum was an orphan child, Caterina, that we don't really know loads about. So we can only really look at him through his father's lineage. And also when he died in 1519, da Vinci had no children. So there's no ability there to directly trace any family history. Despite having no children, he did have 22 half-brothers on his dad's side. And it's from looking at historical documents and tracing their ancestry and looking at their descendants that the art historians were able to find the 14 living descendants of da Vinci. And they did that by looking across 690 years and 21 generations. And his ancestors have professions as diverse as da Vinci's interests were. One is a blacksmith, another a porcelain seller. They even have an artist among them. Now the reason why scientists are focused exclusively on male descendants of da Vinci is because of a chromosome called the Y chromosome. Only men have it and it's passed down from father to son. And scientists think it remains largely the same across 25 generations. The reason why that's really exciting is because it could allow scientists, if they sequence the DNA, or the Y chromosome, of da Vinci's descendants, to get a peek at the DNA of da Vinci himself. What is it that scientists actually want to use da Vinci's DNA for? Well, some want to use it to create a accurate 3D model of what his face might have looked like for a process called DNA phenotyping. Others would like to identify whether artwork and notes purportedly belonging to him actually do belong to him. And others, possibly the most exciting purpose, want to use it to figure out if remains that supposedly belong to da Vinci actually do. Now, da Vinci was originally recorded as being buried in the chapel of Saint Florentine in the Chateau d'Amboise in France, but the French Revolution came through, busted the chapel up, and it had to be demolished. And there were remains that were excavated from the chapel, but belonging to a mysterious male that were then buried in the nearby chapel of Saint Hubert. Now, many people claim that these actually belong to da Vinci, but none of us really know. And so, 
if they were able to match the DNA taken from his descendants, discovered through this new family tree, and compare it with the DNA found in the remains underneath Saint Hubert, maybe they might actually find the real Da Vinci and finally crack the mystery of the true Da Vinci Code once and for all.